Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another collage today, this one for the alphabet book, the letter X. And this one is very special to me because a dear friend of mine wrote it for me for my um, alphabet book. This is Xavier and the Bird Gift an African-American folktale by Marie Flint. So here's the story. The sun burned too hot on the ripe cotton field. Xavier felt thirsty and tired, but her basket wasn't full yet. She looked at the next plant and the next. The rose seemed to have no end. Elder Alum had seen too many fellow workers sicken from the lack of water, and so he came to Xavier. Thank you, Xavier, said politely, and she took the water crock from his hand. The water cooled her parched tongue. By supper time, the heat had lessened somewhat. Steamed rice and peas barely filled Xavier's bowl. Women and other young children had gathered on the straw inside the worker's shed to hear Nubia, the oldest woman who worked in the field. Long ago, in the motherland Africa, began Nubia, our people knew how to fly like birds. Like birds? someone asked. Yes, said Nubia. They could travel long ways and high in the sky. Whispers of doubt floated among those who heard. Men grew set in earthly ways, Nubia added, and over time forgot how to use the bird gift. All forgot? Xavier asked out loud. She quickly covered her mouth, but too late. I think there is one among us who remembers, said Nubia, but I'm not certain. Nubia said no more. Three young girls gathered the empty bowls for cleaning and Xavier began to feel sleepy. That night, Xavier had a strange dream. She felt light and airy. Below her was the cotton planta plantation, acres of white cotton balls, lightly swaying. She felt a warm hand on her shoulder, looking over, she saw Alum, the old man who had given her water in the field. His face was lighted like the sun and he smiled. The next day was even hotter in the field. The morning went well enough, but Adu, who had a month old baby, looked weak at the cotton heap where workers emptied their baskets. Xavier emptied her basket the same time as Udo and saw her fall. One of the master's men came with a whip. Get up, he shouted. Udo fell as she tried to stand. The man began beating Udo with the whip. No, cried Xavier, stop. And the man looked angrily at Xavier. This frightened her, so she began to run. Elder Alum was watching. Men had been beaten before, but never a mother. Now Xavier was feeling the whip too. And so Alum took a deep breath, and with a voice that sounded like thunder, he called out, Vareli! At the upward motion of Alum's arms, Xavier felt herself getting lighter and lighter. An air current swirled around her, up, 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 above the magnolia trees. Vareli! Alum shouted again, arms lifting towards the sky. The bird gift raised all the African brothers and sisters from the field into the clouds. Where Udo, Xavier, Nubia, Alum and all the other workers lived happily in a village of gold surrounded by a large paradise garden, neither too hot nor too cold, never to bear the master's whip again. That's a good story. 
If only it were true. At times like these, I wish we all had the bird gift. I hope you enjoyed my story. Stay safe, my dear friends, and do come again. Bye now.